Lily is a tile-locked Iron Woman account, braving old school RuneScape's toughest enemies, most challenging quests, and harshest RNGs, all in the pursuit of a music cape. I decided to just bite the bullet and grind out a little bit of herb lore so that I could come here and deal with this. There we go. And buy ourselves a herb sack. A chow. Uh, a chow. There we go. New item. Our herb lore with quick grind that got us up to 58. I mean, we can get higher, but eh, I'm not worried about it right now. Herb sack is going to be so useful, though, so I'm very happy with that. The other thing I want to do is unlock something that is totally asinine in terms of what's actually there, because the GE is totally useless to us. Totally, totally, totally useless to us. However, the clan hall is not useless to us. And one other thing is not useless to us is... Bob Barter. And that musical track right there is not. So let's mark this tile right here, because this is our walk to point. Let's label it as the asterisk, as usual, and then we can click on good old Bob. Because he can decant. And decanting is going to be super useful. Well, also, do we want to use the tiles to talk to the banker here? That seems like overkill. Yeah, we can run back and forth. The other piece that we need to deal with is the clan hall portal. There is music in the clan hall that needs to be unlocked. And this is about as far as we're ever going to go into it. Oh, there's a bank in here? Huh. Well, that's cool. Oh shit, there's a chapel and... Cool. I had no idea that there was anything in here. But another track unlocked, that's all I actually care about coming in here for. We're gonna leave. And all of that is just so that we can start to do a bunch of decanting. The other thing that's nearby is if we are a master of fire, then we also need to become a master of cooking things on fire. So let's go to the Cooks Guild. We're kitted out. We look like a true chef because we look fashionable as fuck. We have never cooked anything in our lives, or rather that's lie, we're what, like level 70 cooking? Yeah, 71. And in here, there is one particular thing that we care about. I think this guy is the one I care about? Value of garden pie. Perfect. Voila! Let's do a bit of hopping and get a whole ton of things will allow us ultimately to enter into the higher level of the Farming Guild. This guy will boost our farming by three, putting us above the threshold. So we are going to actually, I'm going to grab a couple of these pies just in case. But we are ultimately going to hop in here. We're going to plant a spirit tree. We're going to plant a Celestris and we're going to plant a fruit tree. And then we're going to also get all of this ready to go. So we're going to turn on run. We are going to boop and we're going to one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to rake while we water, 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 rake. Oh, why did none of the tiles move? What the fuck? OK, we will deal with that in a second. I have no idea why the tiles didn't capture. Oh, well. Shikatagani, I guess. And we'll run back here. We will plant this. And 
Oh, shoot. I need a leprechaun, because I definitely want to give it some ultra compost. We should grab another ultra compost as well. Run this way. Plant our dragon fruit. And... Drop that. And honey, I need you to come closer so I can pay you. Thank you. That way, dragon fruit, we don't have to worry about dying off. We will be unable to pay for the spirit tree, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's drop all of this. And what is our... Farming's already down one. We need these to grow, grow, grow! Actually, what we can do is we can, whilst I'm waiting, we'll click bank here. And then we'll click, whoop, we'll click back there, just so that any tiles that we would normally use will have been accounted for. Perfect, just like that. And we will arm ourselves to the teeth and ready to plant. There we go, can we get it in time? We can get it in time, perfect. We're gonna use Ultra Compost on this, just because I have a feeling that it'll be useful to do that. Now we've got everything planted, and we're ready to get the hell out. We're gonna get out before they kick us out. They won't actually kick us out, but it doesn't hurt. Now, we've got a Celestrius, we've got our dragon fruit, and we've got a spirit tree growing. What more could you possibly want, really? Actually, what I will do, one final thing I will do, what happens if you enchant an emerald necklace? What do you need to enchant it? I can't, because I have the wrong spellbook. Well then, that's the end of that, but that's fine. The plan that I outlined just a little while ago, well, <laughs> we're struggling. We've got a problem. And that problem is Winter Todd won't give us a f fucking tome. We've been doing a thousand little runs here and there. I mean, at this point, let's see. Casey, we're at 500. 500 Winter Todds. These last four that I have, I did max point runs. And so we're just fingers crossed, fingers crossed that we... Okay, we'll deal with this first. So we have got four last cracks at the bat. Four last cracks at this tomb. Let's see what happens. We just RNG bless, RNG bless. All right. There's one down. Open the crate anyway. Oh. Oh, nothing. No. We gotta deposit all this shit. Let's just dump it all in there and grab the last two. Come on, please. We're, we're double drop rate dry. Give it to me. Last one. Last one. Fucking willow logs and raw trout. What is this garbage? Last one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, fucking hell. It just, it won't give it to us. 11.1 mil in terms of Winter Todd so far. 500 crates opened and just, it, it, it refuses to give us a tomb. Well, you notice that the tiles that we've earned are ridiculous. We're, we're at a, a 13,000. I I don't like using Winter Todd to get tiles. That's, that's, it's easy tiles, which is not, not super cool. But I also really, really, really need that tomb for, for what we're doing. So you know what? We're going to just go and we're going to bang out a couple of other quests so that we can just move on. <laughs> It's a new music track because, you know what, even if we can't get the Tomb of Fire, we still need to get better at maging. And in order to become a better mage, it makes sense to go to the mage training arena. Which it looks like we go this way and up and then this way through and we make a quick pit stop off at the bank, I think. 
What kind of sea, I guess? Let's zoom out here and click that way. Are these people in the guild? In the, like, fighting? Huh. No. No, they're, they're just regular. No, they're, they look like NPCs, but maybe not. Huh. And another new track. How phenomenal. We're getting all sorts of tracks going here. Only on virtue of, well, we need to get over to here, which is, you know, I've never actually done the training arena. Never. And so I guess we're gonna find out how bad it is. I, I'm assuming we go, okay, so Enchanters, Graveyard, is there a bank nearby? Or not so much? Entrance Guardian. All right, we need to talk to an Entrance Guardian. Who the fuck is the Entrance Guardian? Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Mr. Entrance Guardian. You appear to be an automated piece of shit. I am new to this place. Let me in. Thanks, bye. Use what you have learned. What I've learned is to hold the space bar and skip through conversations as fast as possible. I don't think that's what you want. All right, well, we have that now, which means I think we actually do need to go to the bank. Well, we'll start with the telekinetic teleport, since that seems reasonable. Mind over matter. All right, let's just get in here. And the fact that things are going to be highlighted for us is going to make life easy because we've got about 20 hours. Uh, about 20 hours of this shit. But I guess we're only going to use tiles to basically create a full circle around it? That's fine. I like that. That's reasonable. And we got some bopping tunes, actually. Yeah, we're gonna create a complete circle around. All right, all right. I don't exactly see where we're supposed to be walking this guy to. Maybe this thing here. Well, we've got all of the tiles invested for this area now at this point. And indeed, we are walking him to the big black square. That's where he wants to be. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right, two telekinetic pizzazz points. Perfect. Now, what the hell do we do? I don't think we grab him from here. How do we move on to the next area? Ah, okay. So once we've completed the maze, we talk to this guy. No. We talk to this guy? Yes, please. Oh, each room is different? Oh, that's unfortunate. So we're going to invest a little more tiles here than I was anticipating. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's get her done. Ugh, some of these mazes are really gross. And why is Automark tiles not working? What's going on? Clear talent. Huh? They're, they're here. They're just not showing up. What the actual fuck? Will, will logging solve it? Oh shit, it kicked me straight out. Uh... Okay. Okay, well, we're just, I guess we're going to have to just manually mark them so we know which ones... Oh, that's unfortunately not what I meant to... I am hella confused. Well, they're, they're showing up and they're subtracting, so I guess it's marking them properly. I just, I don't know why they aren't showing up. Welcome to the buggy game that is... Old School RuneScape. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what a disaster! Alright, I'm gonna plow through the rest of these, and... I don't know how I'm gonna do this other than to see if I can't fix things? Question mark? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do about this? The tile 
else are all over the fucking place. Well, I guess we'll just figure it out. All right, well, at this point, I believe that we have hit all of the different variations of the maps, which means we should be theoretically unlocked all of the tiles. I mean, we may miss a map, and if we're missing a map, that's okay. I will make sure it's unlocked. But I mean, in terms of weirdness, I, I have no idea why none of this shit shows up. It doesn't show up on the overarching mini-map. It doesn't show up, like, anywhere. Other than the counter does count it, which, whatever. Either way, we are going to do this until we've got, uh, shit, how many pizzazz points do we need? We need, like, 1,300 pizzazz points? Eh, I'm deciding on whether we want the mage book or not. I might, I might just have to push through and get Toma Fire or Toma Water or something. Toma Water wouldn't be bad, actually. But either way, we are going to be doing this for the next little while. Let's grind her out. Let's go. Oh, wait. New map, just in time for me to not. And of course, it's not fucking indicating where I've been. Okay. Mm well, let's mark all these tiles, and then we'll call her. 800 telekinetic points later, we are finally done with that. That was brutal. That was brutal. So we're next gonna try out the alchemist area. And we're gonna start by getting a new music track, which is awesome. Let's start by running here, searching the cupboard. And it says the cupboard is empty, so it wants me to go over here now. Wait, it wants me to go back here? And search this cupboard again? Aha! Okay. So I found this. Now what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, grab as many as I can, presumably. And then... I'm assuming it wants me to high elk them? Let's see what that happens with that timer. Oh, they're only worth five now. Okay, that's no good. Well, then we run here, run there search this cupboard. We grab a handful of those, we flip over here, and hi, Elk. Now, I understand that there is a coin limitation in terms of deposits. Now, where do I deposit my coins? Deposit coin collector. There we go. Okay. Okay, I, I don't quite understand the game yet, but I think I will in a bit here. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, I figured it out. What we want to do is we want to grab... We got to figure out where the item that is worth the most is. Once we've done that, then it's just a matter of... Basically, alking as many as we can in the time that we have before the items reset. And depositing a ton of... Coins into the coffer at the far side. So this this is a pretty straightforward game, all things considered, then. That's a lot easier, actually. We should rearrange our inventory. Or rather, our spells. We should filter our spells. That would be smart. Alright, well, 700. We'll deposit them in there. We'll lose out on the six and gives us seven alchemist points. Phenomenal. Now, in terms of our goal, we're looking for how many here? I don't remember. 950. Easy peasy, not too difficult at all. Which means I'm going to deal with that in a second. Off screen, we'll exit. Oh, no, we'll, we'll go this way. Save ourselves the tiles. And we'll exit and we'll do another game. Now, Enchant and Graveyard. No, let's wrap up this entirely. That's the plan.
Kinetic points accomplished. Alchemist points accomplished. Next up is Enchanter's points. Let's take a second and get oriented here. Uh, Alright, so there's bonus shapes. And there's the shape over there. Shapes over there, shapes over there, shapes over there. Now it looks like there's one of each that's in the wrong area. Alright, I think I understand this. Dragon stones. Okay, I think I got that. Well, let's run over here. And we just enchant it. And that gives us pizzazz points. Why did it give me zero points? I thought the bonus was right here. Is this the wrong shape? <laughs> I actually can't fucking believe it. But it's a known bug. Known bug, in course, because that's the way the game wants to... Kick my ass! Alright, fine. We'll do it your way, game. We are gonna sit here. We don't get bonus points no matter what we do. Which means we're just gonna... Go like this. Give me all of the shapes. And now we... Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Over and over and over. And over. And over. And over. And we need 8,000 pizzazz, which means we're going to use 2,000 points. Uh, 2,000, or we're going to need 8,000 pizzazz, which means we're going to use 2,000 of the cosmic ruins, which is going to cripple us for how many cosmic ruins we have. We're going to use more than half our stack, son of a bitch. But whatever. I guess we got to do it. Uh, let's go. I'll be back in two hours. Two hours later. Oh, Mr. Great Pizzazz Hat. Please tell me my points. Hey, look. More than 8,000 enchantment. That's another one banged down. We're down to the last one, Graveyard. Now, we need, in Graveyard, to be able to unlock Bones to Peaches to be very effective. So we're going to go in, get the points we need for Bones to Peaches, get out, buy some rewards, and then go back in and wrap it all up. Now, I understand you take damage in here, which is a real problem. So let's see, there is deposits somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay, so let's uh, mark object food shoot. Grab the bones. So this is what? Okay, I got those. Do I keep going? I think so. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Let's deposit in the food chute. And that gives us some pizzazz points. So we go... These are four each. So four will give us 16. Add it. Okay, I think I got it. We want... This is going to give us that. And then we grab here for a different set. Run here, and we go like this, and bones, and eat, and eat. We're gonna stuff our face with bananas for a little bit here, so that we can catch back up on HP. Oh, 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 okay. And deposit, and let's make sure we're in sync here. We want two of the f four of the two, so this is the three. So we want four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now that's a different pile, and we want four of the two. And these are one. Okay, so that should line them up nicely. Now we bones them. Stuff our face a little bit. Because four gives us four, one, two, three, four, and one gives us all the way one. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. All right, we're in rotation now. Perfect. Okay, we've got the system down. And we've got some emergency food just in case. I guess we'll be doing this for a little bit. Oh, my math was off there. Okay, so we don't have the rotation down. I guess we'll use this round to just heal up. Okay, now we've got it figured out. Took me a little bit, but we were just off on the rotation by a little bit. 
See how it goes green for the 20 there? That's what we're looking for. I didn't even see that icon at first. And so we're grabbing two. We're grabbing fours and ones and then twos and threes at the same time. And then that way, we always wind up with 20, which is exactly how many inventory slots we have. All right, now that we've got the rhythm down, let's get to work eating and dumping bananas into this treasure chest here. 